Talking Points with Shabazz Davis. Covering all conversation from dating to sports fetishes, this is Talking Points with Shabazz Davis on World Improv Network. Yeah. What's going on, America? This is Talking Points with Shabazz Davis. And I'm your host, Shabazz Davis. And I'm here to talk about a topic that's near and dear to my heart. Because I got pit bulls, and I like to fight my pit bulls. But these are some animals much greater, much more interesting than your average pit bull. And that is, I got two of the guests right here. That got an amazing website. Y'all should check it out. It's called AnimalLove.com. That's AnimalLove.com. And we're going to get into what AnimalLove.com is all about. First of all, I want to welcome my first guest, and that's Lily Panda. Lily Panda, well, welcome to the show. Thanks. Bye-bye. Oh, it's great to have you, Lily. And you look even more striking in person than on your website bio. Oh, my God. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. And I have to say, Lily, first of all, I've been kind of like, you know, Facebook stalking you a little bit because, <laughs> you know, what you've been doing with them animals is kind of sexy. Well, I'm glad you like it, Shabazz, because I do it for you. Oh, yeah, audience, look at that. Look at this beautiful lady right here in front of me. She's doing it for me. And we got a partner in crime, a business partner, Sarah Serpent. Welcome to the show, Sarah. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And your voice reflects your stunningly ugly looks. But, that, <laughs> but that's all right. That's all right, Sarah. Not everybody can be beautiful like Lily over there. But nonetheless, I want to thank you, too. Because you developed an amazing website, you two together. And what you guys are basically talking about and trying to get the whole world to understand, there's no such thing as deadly animal obsessions. Dave's just good loving of animals, right? But critics are saying there's a deadly animal obsession going on at AnimalLove.com. But I disagree. Because I saw the way, for example, Lily, you were able to juggle them King Cobras. Tell us a little bit about the King Cobra juggling that you guys do. Well, I was, I went to clown college and I just thought, what would make this yeah. more exciting? Right. And I thought, let's put snakes in it. Oh. And specifically ones that are cobras. Oh. So that's kind of where that idea came from. Oh, that's so gangster. And I actually met Sarah at Clown College, too. Yeah. And so we just developed the sites, yeah. Did you guys both say so both guys you went to a DeVry Clown College? Yes, uh, we oh. did. Audience, come on now. I know that so cool. Sarah's pretty ugly over there, but don't give a uh, hard time. Oh yeah. God. That's all right. Just everybody look at Lily. So, Sarah, tell us a little bit. When you guys met at Clown College and she proposed to you about King Cobra juggling, you won up there, came up with another great idea, and that is to ride rabbit hyenas around the neighborhood. Tell us a little yeah. bit about that. Well, I, uh, I've always uh, had an ambition um, to ride larger uh, animals similar to dogs um, around the neighborhood. Um, and to take mailboxes down with me as I went. Yeah, yeah take down your mailbox too. Hey, <laughs> audience, come on down <laughs> out there. Let her talk. <laughs> yeah. I see you chain smoking. You out of cigarettes? You want another one, Sarah? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, Steve, g give a give a cigarette right now, real quick. We got to do this for our guest here. Here we go, Sarah. I don't smoke cigarettes, yeah. but she does. Me yeah. too. That's so. the perfect yin and yang you got going yeah, on. You don't favorite. smoke. She smokes. We're the perfect team. Perfect team. So you got you, Sarah. So you was riding around on hyenas, smashing mailboxes, while Lily over here is juggling cobras. And then you guys decided to bring it all together one day and start AnimalLove.com. So tell me a little bit about where AnimalLove.com is right now. Well, we are actually just about to go public. Oh, IPO is it? Yes. Yeah. And. Sarah can tell you more about it because she's smarter than me. Go ahead, Sarah. Yeah, so um, we have uh, several options. Audience, uh, shut up right uh, now. Do you want me to do something ugly? Huh? 
Yeah, Sarah, threaten my audience. Sarah, That's calm cool. down. That makes yeah. it a little bit more sexy over there. Calm yeah. down, sweetie. <laughs> I swear, my face looks like it got hit with every branch on the ugly tree. That's but right. My body is free of that. That's right. And you got skills. So tell us a little bit more about that. What was AnimalLove.com right now besides the IPO stage? All right. You can pick your level of danger. Yeah. Uh, so you can pick, you know, anything from fire ants in your pants. Yeah. Uh, all the way up to uh, lions uh, being antagonized with sticks in the safari. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I always wanted to jab a lion in the belly and say, here, take that, Mr. Yeah, Kitty. Yeah, they don't like it. I learned that the hard way. Yeah. I lost my calf. Oh, that's all right, though. That's all right. As long as you got your head and your lungs and your heart still beating around, you yeah. can still move on with your great work. I see right now you guys are running a holiday special. Even before Thanksgiving and Halloween, you guys are starting early. I see that you guys is offering baby great white shocks for only nineteen ninety five plus shipping and handling. Is that right? They're the perfect bathtub pet because they don't take up much room. I bet like once they get bigger, they're like more of like a pool size. So right. We have to just make sure that our clients have a pool. Okay, so that's a prerequisite to get that 1995 deal is that you have a, a pool that you can transfer the great white to once it leaves the bathtub? Absolutely. All right. Pool shark. Oh, pool shark. That's cool. And, 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 and how many people that you guys, you know, right now are interested in this special, this holiday great white special? Well, right now we have about two people Yeah. that are Oh, interested yeah. but i think i think maybe this will just pique some interest oh yeah i mean i've got a massive following around the world on this show so i'm sure people are gonna be do you guys ship it international too yes yeah. the people in japan really like their great white sharks yeah that's cool because because they also eat them fins too right yeah. great whites just kind of shed them and stuff yeah. they do yes yeah. yeah. they never make it to the pool in japan Oh, they don't? They only make it from the bathtub into a smaller pot. Oh. The stove. Oh. Mm. But we... But that's all right for 1995. Ain't no yeah. big deal. That's a cheap meal. Right. I mean, sushi costs way more than that. Sure. So does hibachi dinners, you know, Benihana's yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So a great white shark, you know, dinner for 1995, that sounds like romantic, yeah. like a good deal. Yep. Yeah. Those are the, our two interested customers are in Japan. Okay. So, Sarah, tell us a little bit more. So, so you got mauled by, by a, a lion once, and then you guys moved on to... I know, audience. I don't look that way, this way because of the lion, just in case you were thinking. Yeah, I can see that. Hey, audience, you know what? Freddy Krueger ain't fictional. She's sitting right there next to you in, in the name of Sarah Serpent. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, Sarah... Oh, come on, audience. Give it, give a break. God damn it. Tell us a little bit more of that. So you guys are getting some traffic. And how many animals is you going to be selling? And what other specials? Can you get the cat out the bag, so to speak? What other holiday specials is coming down the road besides the Great White Shark? Uh, we have... <clears throat> it's beginning to eel a lot like Christmas. Eels? Electric eels? Do you know they can actually jump out of the water to electrocute you that's awesome that's yeah. so cool yeah wow they can grip you from what? outside the tub oh man are you guys you know going to use them like for renewable energy to light christmas lights and stuff uh, we yeah yes oh man y'all see y'all's is cool because it ain't just about animal love mm. it's about nature mm. and helping global warming yeah. by have electric eels Getting lighting christmas buddy. lights yeah we're a very green company too. Oh, so yeah. cool. Yeah. And Lily, how much how much them electric eels gonna be running? Um, those ones are gonna be a little bit pricier. They're gonna go for forty nine ninety nine because you get three. Oh yeah. But that's three audience. If you yeah. divide that out, that's a pretty damn good deal. Yeah. That's still less yeah. than the great white. And you ain't gonna eat the eel, right? Well you can, but it's just up to you. Well, be all right. careful. I tell you what, America, you got to go check this website out. That's AnimalLove.com. AnimalLove.com. And get yourself your own animal for the holiday. That's a little bit more exotic than my pit bulls. And them is the Talking Points. Talking Points with Shabazz Davis. Give the Windcast your questions on Facebook, Twitter, 
or the Mile High Sports Radio studio line during the break of what issues the Win counselors can help you with during Good, Bad, Ugly. Next on Mile High Sports Radio. 